Hello friends, welcome back to Ultrasound Teaching Videos with Dr. Arshad Nadeem Awan. Hope you are all okay. Hope you are all enjoying your life as usual. This uh, from the uh, right from the start, I usually ask your health, your activities and your all uh, uh, practical experiences. So that's why this is a matter of routine. Uh, as you know that uh, I'm uh, discussing splenic pathologies and I have covered splenomegaly at length and I have also give the uh, accurate differentials just to uh, enhance your knowledge and beside this I have discussed about the uh, malignant nodules, uh, benign nodules and today the topic of discussion is splenic trauma. A splenic trauma, how it will appear on the ultrasound imaging and how uh, we will appreciate uh, the contusion of the spleen, laceration of the spleen, uh, intraparenchymal uh, hematoma. Or uh, pericapsular hematoma, uh, or I mean, like uh, um, there is how we will appreciate rupture as well. So these are four patterns you have to be uh, careful while you are scanning the patients in the trauma and emergency, and you have to differentiate between all these four. Whether there is a pericapsular hematoma, peri splenic hematoma, there is a collection, or there is intraparenchymal hemorrhage or hematoma or oh, there is a rapture. So all these four patterns can easily be seen. Ultrasound is a very useful equipment in the emergency department because it can easily and swiftly rule out any organ pathology, intra-abdominal uh, intra collect collections and uh, other associated injuries as well. So therefore, those who are working in trauma and accident, I think this uh, video is worth watching because you will be able to understand how these uh, traumatic pattern will appear on the ultrasonic imaging, how you will write a conclusive report and how it will appear on the images. So uh, let's start watching this video and it will really help you to understand splenic trauma. Importance of ultrasound in accident and emergency department cannot be de denied because it is the easiest way to detect intra-abdominal bleeding or rupture of any of the organ or bleeding within the organ. Here on this image, you can appreciate subcapsular hematoma of the spleen. Spleen uh, heterogeneity is visible, its parenchyma is heterogeneous and you can see a crescent shape uh, hypoequic, hyperequic line and underneath there is an equic lesion as well. So this an equic lesion is actually hematoma which is indicated by the white arrow and this is a subcapsular hematoma. It will appear in this way. So it's easy to detect on the ultrasound image uh, you can see and you can well appreciate subcapsular hematoma in this fashion. Uh, on the report mentioned that spleen appears heterogeneous because the patient will be having a trauma history definitely and it will be brought to accident and emergency department. So there is no doubt that this would be hematoma. So on the report mentioned that spleen appears heterogeneous and there is subcapsular hematoma. Mention the size and if possible give the volume on your report. This another image is also showing subcapsular hematoma of the spleen. Here you can appreciate spleen is enlarged and splenic parenchyma appears heterogeneous. And within the surrounding area, there are atypical uh, lesions are available. You can see it's an heterogeneous area surrounding in the surrounding region. So this is actually subcapsular hematoma. Uh, blood appears anequic and uh, sometimes uh, it appears slightly heterogeneous as well when it is chronic. So in acute form it will be purely anequic while in chronic case it will appear heterogeneous. So in this case there is subcapsular hematoma but actually it is not in acute stage so therefore slight heterogeneity around the capsular region of the spleen can be visible. So this is a classical example of subcapsular hematoma of the spleen. So in this uh, ultrasound image you can see an heterogeneous area which is actually hematoma and it is just beneath the spleen so therefore it will be called as perisplenic hematoma. The difference between the pericapsular and the perisplenic is the pericapsular uh, would be within the capsule 
while in perisplenic uh, hematoma this would be just beneath the splenic region so that's why this is perisplenic hematoma spleen is visible and surrounding of the spleen shows heterogenic areas which indicate that there is uh, hematoma and you know the patient would definitely be giving the history of trauma it would be brought to accident and emergency uh, because there will be a history of trauma so when you come across in uh, with this conditions always mention hematoma always mention collection always mention uh, blood it uh, would be um, highly appreciable if you could give the volume of the hematoma that underneath the spleen that much volume of the blood or hematoma is visible sometime because of the confusing appearances some other investigations uh, would be required like in that case uh, this patient uh, has uh, been advised CT scan and on the CT image you can appreciate well defined perisplenic hematoma. Spleen is visible on the uh, CT scan image and uh, high podence area is also visible with irregular margin that is purely hematoma. So perisplenic hematoma will appear on the ultrasound imaging in this fashion. So if in case uh, ultrasound findings are confusing and you are not pretty much sure to diagnose hematoma or to differentiate uh, confidently between hematoma or some other mass lesion, always advise CT scan. On the CT image, it would be uh, clear that uh, this case was uh, hematoma or this case was some other lesion. So this is a classic example of perisplenic hematoma on CT images. Finding of the laceration on the ultrasound imaging is slightly difficult. Here these white arrow shows splenic laceration. Splenic laceration is actually discontinuity of the regularity of the cellular part of any of the organ. So that would be considered a laceration. So laceration uh, would appear as a hypoequic areas within the organs parenchyma like in on this splenic image you can see hypoequic areas are visible within the splenic parenchyma so patient was uh, in the emergency um, department he was uh, having a history of trauma so that was a definite case of the laceration always mention the site of the laceration always give the measurement that that much area uh, has been lacerated uh, and uh, within that lobe of the organ or within that lobe of the spleen uh, so mention this that this was splenic laceration here on this image an oval shape uh, hypoequic area can be seen this is uh, splenic laceration another small dot round dot uh, beneath that oval area can also be seen so in these both areas you can uh, appreciate that uh, this uh, features may mimic as abscess as well as collection as well hematoma as well intra splenic hematoma can also be uh, labeled for this case but actually this was laceration this was not uh, this was also confirmed on the ct images as well so therefore uh, this has this diagnosis has been given as a splenic uh, laceration measure the size measure the area give the location and put it on your report Keeping the previous history of uh, trauma and accident in view, this would be definitely laceration or oblique. You can give it uh, intra splenic hematoma as well. This is the CT scan image of the previous case, uh, which we have discussed about the oval shape here on this image within the spleen. You can see hypodense oval area within the splenic parenchyma. Another round area round lesion is also um, visible within the splenic parenchyma so this was the previous case which was confirmed that it was intrasplenic laceration surrounded by perisplenic hematoma so you can appreciate a well-defined hypodense area surrounding the splenic capsule so this is perisplenic hematoma and splenic laceration Yes, friend, this was all about the splenic trauma and these four images, five images which you have seen. Uh, it has clarified how a pericapsular hematoma will look like and how uh, perisplenic hematoma and collection, collection will appear on the ultrasound imaging, how intraparenchymal laceration and contusion will appear and how uh, we will appreciate splenic rupture. So I'm sure there is uh, uh, all, uh, I think this is all clear for you and how you will write this on 
the report. So this was all about the splenic uh, trauma. I hope this video will help you to understand the imaging while you are working in trauma section. So stay uh, connected with me and keep watching my videos. Uh, try to keep share all these videos with other colleagues as well. And if you come across any uh, issue or anything you want me to discuss about that, so just drop me a message and I will get back to you. Uh, take great care of yourself. Keep practicing ultrasound. Keep watching my videos. And within the next video, we will see again. Till then, take great care of yourself. See you then. Bye-bye.